Hello and welcome on how to make a uh, back to top button on WYSIWYG Web Builder 12. I'm using 12.2.1 um, So anyhow, let's get into it. This is about a back to top button. How a back to top button works is uh, I've got my site, press F5 and here's my back to top button here it stays there even on mobile view it stays there and let's see how she works boom she's back to the top so on my master page which all my pages are uh, linked onto the master page anyway there's other tutorials on how to do that and this is it here which then refers back to this little bookmark right here so I'm going to standard bookmark I've renamed it to uh, back to top bookmark so let's start and uh, the, 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 um, the layer it's a sticky layer stuck to the bottom right offset is X uh, 10 and 10 that is when you see it stay where it is on the web page a little 10 to the right, a little 10 to the, to the, from the bottom Anywho. so let's get into the shape it's one of the, the shape I've chosen ok background is transparent solid, I want, I want it white link is don't worry about clicking here to choose a page, you don't want to choose a page all you want to do is just choose the bookmark and that's the one I've got so let's get into making it let's just get rid of this, delete get rid of that so up here I have a uh, a fluid grid just standard it's in the centre you can make, you know, you know how to use fluid grid so I'm not here to show you how to use a fluid grid so uh, let's get a new bookmark. Actually, yep, I've deleted the arrow uh, back top button. Let's get a bookmark. Let's drop it up here. Properties, master bookmark one. I'm going to call it. Um, just going to call it top for now. Top. Enter. Come over to. Grab a layer, um, layer. Just to shrink it. Now I think the size for a decent layer is I think it was shoot uh, sixty by fifty one sixty fifty five. Makes it about square. Transparent. Oops. Transparent. Border. I don't want. Oh, no, I don't want a border on a none. Okay. Let's grab a shape. Shapey right there. Shape. 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 Shape, shape. shape down here. Um, I wanted it to be an arrow. So on the arrow. Arrow. Background. Transparent. I want it to be a border side stolid. I want it to be white. I want to make it two. Let's link it. Bam, straight away to the top bookmark. That's it. That's all you got to do. This is on the master page, remember? Um, you don't want to do this on all pages. You only want to do it on the master page. But if, you know, for a multi-page site, if you were just doing a one-page site, well then, you know, you still just do it the same way I did. Okay, now. Okay, that's not where we want to be. Stuck inside a layer there, I'll drag into a layer accidentally. 
shake it a little bit, shaby shaby. Drag it inside there. It should sit in, snap in, depending on how you got your your, your, uh, your workspace set up. Now I want this layer to be. Um, we want sticky layer. I want ten. Ten, and I, I don't want it to delay by half a second. That's what 500 is, 1000 is 1 second, so I'm just going to give it a zero. The alignment is center. Okay, don't need to worry about any of these. Boom. Now, up here I've got a fluid red like I showed you. It doesn't matter whether you shrink this to mobile size because it's in a fluid grid. This here, you always want to keep to the far left hand side. If it's stuck in a, you can't put it into a fluid grid because it just won't stay. You always want to keep it to the left hand side. And the reason being is when you shrink your screen to mobile size, if this is way over here, your screen's going to have a slider on it like this when you're in viewing in mobile screen size. And you get a swipe to the right to, and it won't, to just to, to see it. It says something, it says this is not within the guidelines. So always keep it to the left hand side. Far left. Okay, now let's go back to the page. I'm going to hit F5, F5. Let's go to the top. There you go, I'm not saying that. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, top left, here we go. I want uh, bottom, 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 center, bottom, bottom right, here we go. Anywho, everybody makes a mistake, but I've got it right. Back to the index, let's press F5. And there it is, hanging out down here. You'll see it stays there because we made the timer to stay zero. And as we click it, it's back to top. I'll open up another page that I have in the site. Open up F5. There it is. Now, shrink to mobile size. Remember, I told you before about. The slider and it'll be within the framework. Well, because I was, I've only just moved these two here, so let's go back, back to the master. Just get these back up where they really belong. So there. Now we're at the offset because this is always invisible when you're viewing. Make the favorite lights. Five. Now there's no slider. You see, there's no slider. Keep it to the left. We know it shows here on the right. And that's how you make it back to the top button. Thank you for watching.